October the 16th, 1972. And a new daytime soap takes to the air. The setting, rural Yorkshire, with storylines unlikely to shock. Milking's at six. I used to watch them during the dinner times when I was still at school. Annie Sugden, and she'd walk in and say, Joe, I've lost my shoe. And then for half an hour, they'd go finish it, and then the show would finish and go, Joe, I've found my shoe. But audiences were loyal, and by the 80s, Emmerdale Farm, as it was then called, had been promoted to the evening schedules, where it's remained. Only one British TV soap has been on air longer than this, Coronation Street, of course. But many would argue that Emmerdale has undergone the greater transformation. Look out! The show's big moment came in 1993. 16 million viewers watched as a plane crashed onto the village. You don't think it's a nuclear attack, do you? No, 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 of course not. The show then, then in 93 was lagging behind. It was perhaps too slow moving. It was ceasing to be re relevant. So the big, huge, messy plane crash was a chance to completely kind of redefine and rebuild. My baby's not breathing! He's not breathing! And like many soaps, Emmerdale's storylines became more and more daring. Jackson Walsh's assisted suicide last year proved especially controversial. I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I can't! <laughs> to mark the soap's 40th birthday, the cast are preparing for the first ever live episode. I'm feeling sick. I've, I mean, I've never done live. I, I'm not a big theatre kind of person. I mean, EastEnders has done it before, um, so has Corrie. But why, why do it? Why do soaps do this? You tune in because it just adds to the... Um... To, no, to the excitement and the drama let's of the, of the... No, let's be realistic oh. here. People tune in to see people going wrong. You know, Corrie looked amazing and nothing went wrong. And they had actual people phoning in saying that wasn't live. Live? Puh. Emmerdale's longest serving cast member has seen it all before. I was in a thing called Emergency Ward 10. And for the first four years of that, the whole thing was live. You must have some tips then for the younger cast members. If anything goes wrong, it's like being in a refugee camp. You've just got to keep going. You've got to try and cover it up somehow. So, just like the old days of telly, on tomorrow night's Emmerdale, no-one's quite sure what will happen.